Hello, we're now at part T. That's quite a lot of parts of the uh, introduction to cloud computing and big data slash data engineering. And here we are, Jeffrey Fox, uh, giving you uh, giving you this part. And this part is devoted to security, but essentially all to blockchain, which is one of the most hyped security uh, inventions of the recent times. And um, we've mentioned a few general things about security, but nearly all the effort is spent on blockchain. All right, so this comes from the Internet Trends uh, 2017 um, discussion by Kleiner Perkins. And um, what, what it sort of says is, here, here is the uh, change in Concerns from 2012 to 2015. Even though this is a 2017 report, this is unfortunately uh, still only to 2015. And you can see security and uncertainty over cost is declining in importance. Compliance and governance, that sounds a very solid day. Um, centralized con um, effort here. Loss of control is going down, and lock-in. We have to use Amazon only, because we started with Amazon, it's dramatically increasing. So that's sort of interesting, it says that, um, still actually it's true that, that over a third think security is important. That's quite a lot, given it probably isn't important. Oh well, here's blockchain. So, this is Gartner on blockchain. Doesn't actually explain what blockchain is, but we will um, come to that. It's a distributed ledger technology for basically robustly recording transactions and the associated certification trust and the associated uh, digital uh, uh, currency at, uh, um, associated with it. And it is distributed, collaborative, and it's a technology to, uh, which is pretty important, because it allows one to do things, potentially allows one to do things in an automatic, robust fashion. And Bitcoin, which is an associated hyped thing, even more hyped, um, is the digital, in the candidate digital currency for blockchain. And this allows untrusted people to collaboratively agree on something and to record it in a way that cannot be changed. We will describe this in a little more detail later on. And it's all very immature, very poorly understood, unproven, and it uh, has not really been developed inside a traditional uh, solid framework, slightly surprising given it's a trying to do something pretty solid. <coughs> but it's interesting that Gartner thinks that through 2018, 85% of projects with blockchain in their title won't actually use blockchain to do anything useful. Um, they have an article on the Bitcoin blockchain magic and myths. <coughs> and there are lots of legal and regulatory and institutional issues. And how these are peer-to-peer, -peer so distributed peer-to-peer -peer technology, with a, with an intrinsically uh, a linked list, which is difficult to change. That's why it's so robust. Okay, so the world needs ledgers because we have all these entities uh, working with each other, and they sort of send messages back and forth, and it's pretty confusing, and. Uh, ad hoc and actually pretty um, insecure. Um, and we even see that when we try to use our credit card, it's pretty flaky. I'm always getting fraud alerts on my credit card. Okay, so we set up a, a, a distributed record of all these transactions across these institutions. In a way that it is basically impossible to change one thing without changing everything, which will cause disaster. And so this protects the whole system. The fact that it's got so many people, you know, 
any one person is untrusted, un untrusted, sorry, not untrusted. But if you have hundreds of untrusted people, then it's, they, they sort of end up trusting each other, because they can't all be conniving together to screw you. All right. So, it's a append only. All you can do is append information to these records. So it's a ledger, which is append only. Um, we have uh, business terms embedded in the transactional databases. Everything is transactional. And it's privacy. They're verifiable. Transactions are authenticated, secure. Uh, but th this whole technology is, is designed so it cannot be changed. And then you end up agreeing, because what else can you do? So here is actually Wikipedia's definition of blockchain. So it's just a it's just a list of records which can have branches, and uh, you link them, and you have a hash to the next link on uh, the, the link that you came from. So that's why you can go back. You have timestamps, and you have data. So that's what it is. It's a very simple technology, and it's very difficult to change the data because if you change the data, you ruin everything. Because they're all linked together. It's a giant uh, snake running through all these companies, and that snake cannot be changed. And so it's a verifiable permanent record. Um, typically, is it distributed? Because we have lots of distributed entities involved. You use peer-to-peer -peer network technology, and uh, the protocols are validating new blocks, and the data in the block can never be changed. Unless you change everything, and that requires collusion between everybody, because you, you can't change things without getting people to agree. So that makes them very secure, decentralized. You can get consensus with a blockchain, and therefore they're suitable potentially for recording of events, medical records, and so on. Anything which requires transactions. And there's this amazing uh, Japanese, Satoshi Nakamoto, who doesn't, it's not quite clear whether he exists. And uh, it was invented in 2008 and implemented in 2009 as part of Bitcoin. And um, it's, the tra it's a ledger for recording transactions involving Bitcoin. And so blockchain for Bitcoin made it the uh, Bitcoin, the first um, currency to solve the double spending problem, which actually I never heard of until take, making these notes. And double spending is the flaw in a digital cash scheme, because you can copy files. And so if you have a wonderfully secure record of a digital cash, you can just copy it. And that's double spent. So that's pretty serious. Okay. So. It saves time because it's a totally digital approach. So we don't take days to verify things, it's instantaneous. There's fewer overheads because it's so clean. Uh, it's pretty tamper proof and it's more trustworthy. That's if it all gets implemented correctly. And here's the collaboration involved in blockchain. Um, so there's a lot of people involved in blockchain. Here we have August 27, 2017. IBM forges blockchain collaboration with Nestle's and Walmart for global food safety. That's for tracking, so it's an example of it's nothing else to do with money. We want to know the, how the food is processed so we can um, uh, make certain that no steps are missed out. And if there's a problem, we can go back and find out what happened. So these are all examples of where blockchains are needed. Um, so. If you look at uh, emerging areas and where, why they're using uh, blockchain, this is 2016. Uh, the reasons vary from uh, launching startups, cost efficiency, um, trying to understand what on earth this all means, it's worried about being disrupted by blockchains invading us, uh, competitive pressure, all your friends are using blockchains, and being afraid of the financial technology industry. That's what fintech is. Very, very actual um, major activity is fintech. Okay, if you look at banking, then we want to use it for money transfers, especially international, where the trust is more important. 
clearing, just recording the settlements of stocks and things like that. Uh, well, this is um, anti-money laundering, AML, and know your customer. Well, that's a, I haven't heard of those abbreviations. Um, a, a fiat country a currency is one that you believe in the government. Probably the dollar. Well, it says here the dollar is a fiat country currency. Maybe it isn't any longer. Um, we want to be transparent. I mean, the advantage of this technology is it's secure, but it's also transparent. It's decentralized. There's no centralized server which has to stay up the whole time and might get taken over by a monster. Uh, it actually is not so easy, it seems, to defraud that I, you'd have to do a detailed analysis of that. Um, and um, just as a registry of, you know, like food provenance, that's an obvious application. And then basically allowing one to do business as issuing securities. So these are all solid uses of it, and that's my, this list of applications, the end of this particular section. So blockchain. It's not quite proven, but if you look back on the earlier slide, Gartner has a prediction for its success, and it thinks it will succeed, but it will go through a quiet page phase and then burst out later on, because it will just take a while to build reliable infrastructure, reliable technology infrastructure. Thank you very much.